Hello everyone. So today I thought I'll probably talk about uh, teams in Jira. Now this is actually a bit frustrating or I should say annoying thing. Now in Jira we have users and we can of course create groups and we all know know about roles. So if you know how Jira works then I'm sure you know that there is no Well, there was never really this concept of a team i mean in a way you had this option to look at the project roles and project role or roles are are applicable to within a project but at the, at the same time natively without using any other functionality like for example advanced road map plans there was never really a way to create a team create create a team that can be reused to be honest even advanced road map plans Uh, or the teams within advanced roadmap plans they are to be honest not massively useful in, in the new version because uh, i mean you, you can't really do proper capacity management anyway so what is the point and if we talk about the concept of team i mean team the way organizations work there has to be some kind of a team who would do something so in jira there is even now there is no such concept but if you go to jira cloud you will find this option very clearly displayed on top team now <laughs> this to be honest is uh, more or less useless i mean it can be useful uh, only for few things but i don't really know or maybe i'm to be honest i might be missing something but let me explain so what you can do is you can definitely create a team and uh, you can then of course you know add people to it so in this particular team sparks is team and by the way when you go to a particular team you have a team page or section where you can give your team a name and you can give them kudos it never really worked for me if i click on it nothing happens um but anyways but I, but i can add people here in the team and it says here that whatever these people are doing you will see it here but i don't really see anything here i'm by the way i'm using the free standard version no free version of jira so maybe that is why but i don't really think so now I read the documentation because if you look at this particular page it says here okay create a team blah 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 and add remove member okay what they will do so basically it's saying it is saying here that uh, share content with the team or mention them so it works so let me show you if i go to a particular uh, issue i can actually tag uh, a team now what this is this is good because i can see you know the team icon or the header image and i can hopefully see uh, i mean yes i can see it straight away that people who are there in the team uh, could you please check this and um, hopefully these people will get uh, notified notification some kind of a notification but i was hoping that a uh, team or these members would be added as a watcher but that is not how it works so watcher functionality is still the same it is individual user so we all know this <laughs> now one extra thing that you can do you can actually share this so if you click on the share button on top you can actually tag or basically share it with your entire team uh, so you can actually uh, please i guess they'll probably get uh, an email with a link to this issue but that is really it and uh, do you really think it is enough um that is it because you have this new i mean not it has been there for a while to be honest but there is a new section called team there is like a special entry in the menu called team but there is no functionality there is no a uh, real proper usage of team feature or functionality and i'm saying this not as a jira admin not as a jira consultant but i'm saying this because uh, i can imagine people who are new to jira they want to when they look at something called as team they expect i believe okay this team will do something so let me also do one one more thing if i go to let us say my because usually you want to do something when you have group of people so i guess when you go to maybe your role can we use roles uh here i'm not really sure um because you can search for name group uh but not really uh i mean when you add when you have, when you click on the add people button here on top 
uh, I guess you can uh, simply let me actually check one of my other Jira instance, which is paid, which I will not show you. But let me just uh, open it just to quickly validate whether uh, because I'm on the free plan here, you know, this instance of Jira, but I will, sh I will take a look at uh, whether we can use teams in uh, in uh, the other uh, basically here in the uh, in the section here like in in project permissions I'll probably create a team first um, and uh, and then I will confirm I don't really think uh, this because when you add a new No, I can't use uh, I can't use this team here in the role, and also I believe for the uh, permissions. Let me just quickly double check because that is the whole point, right? Um, if you have, if you're saying that okay, we have uh, this uh, way. I mean, you have groups anyways, you have roles anyways, and now you have teams, which is in a way not really doing anything great. So. I don't know. So no, we can't really use it in the permissions as well. So this team here is not massively useful, but I thought I'll probably let you know. I guess it is good to have this and hopefully at Lashen will uh, do something about it in the future. But for the time being, I, I guess that is it. You can tag a team in your comment and you can share it, but but nothing, nothing much. All right, that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye bye.